Hi everyone, today we're going to be going over the Bitcoin retail wallet sizes chart and how you can use this tool to help improve your Bitcoin investing and analysis. This chart as well as many others are all freely available on lookintobitcoin.com, your number one source for Bitcoin information. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. So what is the Bitcoin retail wallet sizes chart? Well, if you're already familiar with the previous video we've done, the Bitcoin wallet sizes, which you can see here, it's a fairly similar set of charts we have. And we call them the Bitcoin retail wallets, as this is covering wallet sizes on the Bitcoin network that contain a much smaller amount of Bitcoin. So the two new charts we'll be covering today are the addresses with a balance of at least 0.01 Bitcoin and 0.1 Bitcoin. And as you can see, they're fairly similar. But overall, what are these charts trying to show us? Well, what it is showing is the amount of Bitcoin wallets on the network containing, in this instance, at least 0.01 Bitcoin. So at any given point, we can see on the chart that at this point, for example, there were around 8 million different unique wallets holding at least 0.01 Bitcoin. Right now, for example, there are 11, nearly 11 and a half million different individual wallets holding at least 0.01 Bitcoin. And then if we flip over to the addresses with 0.1 Bitcoin in the wallet, we can see again around four, just over four million wallets currently holding at least that much Bitcoin in their wallets. So these are a little different than wallets we've covered before, such as the wallets containing at least one Bitcoin or even at least a hundred or a thousand Bitcoin. As this is on a general uptrend as Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies matures and is generally more widely adopted as an asset class. And usually we can see with wallets of this size, rather than as such as the big wallets which are accumulating it and trying to sell at higher prices for much more aggressive profit taking, wallets of this size may be for general long-term holding or actual utilization of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies where Bitcoin is more used as a tool for peer-to-peer -to -peer transactions. Now, of course, this isn't always the case. We can see as the 2017 Bitcoin price topped out, we saw a huge decline in the amount of addresses holding at least 0.01 Bitcoin. And the same is true for the addresses holding 0.1 Bitcoin here. But we can see as this comes down here, it does indicate that a lot of profit taking was taking place as lots of retail users who potentially just wanted a very small, minute exposure to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, potentially as they get involved with it for the first time as they saw Bitcoin's price dropping for the first time in their history of investing, a lot of people may have taken profits. But as we can see, excluding this, we have been on a very much general uptrend throughout the past few years for Bitcoin. Regardless of price, we can see differences in the acceleration of the addresses increasing to the upside. So there is somewhat of a positive correlation. As we can see, as Bitcoin price drops, usually there is either a bit of sideways consolidation in the addresses holding, but to the general, it is very much to the upside. And we can see if we just zoom on over the same region on the addresses holding 0.1 Bitcoin, it is almost identical. It is just that the addresses with 0.01 Bitcoin tends to be a little bit more volatile and aggressive in its up and down moves. And this is simply because it's 10 times cheaper to obtain 0.01 Bitcoin. So there are generally going to be more people who have access to even purchase that amount in the first place. So ultimately, how can we use these charts to help improve our Bitcoin investing and analysis? Well, we can see areas where the addresses are dropping substantially usually indicate that price has topped out. But this often happens after price has topped out as retail are usually a little late to the profit taking part of Bitcoin investing and analysis. So rather than using this in hindsight, it may be best to wait until we can see areas where the Bitcoin addresses are increasing exponentially. Like we saw here, just as Bitcoin's price was about to top in price, as we see the acceleration in the addresses to the upside, this may be a good time to consider profit taking. And also, as we saw here, following the 2020 COVID crash, as this tool not only has to increase as new users are entering the space, this may just indicate that people who are already in the Bitcoin space are potentially accumulating more Bitcoin into different wallets. As anyone can create multiple Bitcoin wallets at any time, one singular investor may open hundreds if not thousands of individual Bitcoin wallets for their investing just to keep all their investments separate. So this doesn't necessarily have to be seen as a black and white new users entering the space. This could be seen as longer term, more experienced traders and investors accumulating more as prices decrease. So how we can really use this tool as a great way to actually identify areas where a volatile action has occurred and it potentially may be a turning point in the Bitcoin price. So as discussed, when we saw this big price peak here in Bitcoin, as the wallets massively increased to the upside, this indicated a Bitcoin price top. As we saw a huge increase here with the COVID 2020 crash, this indicated a Bitcoin price bottom. And the same can be true throughout all of Bitcoin's price history. 
Now, one of the few examples where this isn't the case is this most recent increase we've seen here. And this is actually due to a fundamental factor, which was the FTX insolvency. So this increase was likely due to many users getting their Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies off of exchanges. But generally, we can see even with this recent almost black swan event that the general uptrend continues to the upside and more and more retail adoption is happening with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. So just to summarize, the retail Bitcoin wallet sizes charts tells us the total amount of wallets on the Bitcoin blockchain that are holding a minimum amount of BTC. So in those examples we looked at, which was the 0.01 and the 0.1 BTC wallets. And using this data, we can observe the rate of retail accumulation and distribution of Bitcoin. Although we do have to bear in mind that these wallets don't necessarily mean that it is new individuals coming into the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency space. This may actually also include individuals that are already in the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency space, but are creating new wallets for further accumulation of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. We can also see as these smaller retail wallets increase exponentially, it can potentially indicate an overheated market that may be topping out. Although it may be indicative of cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin maturing and being more widely adopted as an asset class. If you like this video, then please visit lookintobitcoin.com where we believe that everyone should have access to high quality Bitcoin data. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to learn about all our other charts and gain even more insights. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.